I continued with my model a bit and created some additional lights and some additional furniture. You can see that on level 2 I've got some light fittings in. Level 1 I've got uh, some light fittings in. This is the ceiling plans. The floor plans I've actually put in some uh, furniture on the ground floor. I'm going to go to level 2. I've got some furniture on the ground floor and I've also got some uh, materials that I've put onto the ground floor. I got my 3D views to look at these so I can switch between 3D views, my perspective views. That's my furniture on the, the level with materials and I can uh, choose how to display them if I show them as wireframe or if I show them as, as shaded or I show them as uh, realistic where I see the actual bitmap images of the materials themselves. Um, it doesn't matter what I'm showing them as, when you render it's not really got anything to do with the graphics display here, so I can switch those back to hidden lines. So suppose I wanted to render that particular view, or let's do this one. Um, I've rendered some already in here, and when you render them, it puts them in a, you can save them to a rendering folder. So you can kind of see the progress of my work here is that what I was doing was was checking that the lights were working in the interior right, by rendering an image and then uh, using that as kind of my base. I got a bit more furniture in there now so let me render just one image. I'm going to go back to this one. I'll go to my uh, teapot symbol, my rendering. I, I already know that they render, so I started with a very low level draft just to check things. I'm now going to switch to high. Um, I can say that I want just to see the interior lights, artificial only. And um, what I might want to do for a, a large lighting project is I might want to, for the lights that are in my project, I might want to assign them to a diff each group, you know, so that if I say made the names of the groups according to the rooms, this would give me the option of being able to turn lights off in rooms that aren't relevant for my rendering and, and save me a lot of time. So, I, I mean, rendering time. If the lights aren't on, it doesn't have to calculate where the shadows fall or how the light bounces around in a room that isn't visible in the, the rendering itself. So, I might actually label them as. Uh, say level one open space and then I can pick my light fixtures and I was hoping that I'd be able to see them highlight on the screen here but suppose I uh, I pick some of these Let me scroll down a little bit uh, so this one, see the, this one here, and how it highlights in blue. So what I could do is say move that to the group called Open Space. Let's see the next one up. Move to the group called Open Space. Okay, I won't beat a dead horse here. That makes that, that's the that's the way that I can bring them all into one group, and then I'd be able to just kind of say, okay, turn off all of these lights, or turn on all of these lights. So there's kind of an organizing principle there that you can use. I'll leave the rest of them as they are at the moment, and I'll just render this so, so you can see it. Uh, watch the the time here will show the finish time when it's finished rendering. So it took about 18 minutes to process the information. Now it's starting to paint the finished picture uh, on the screen.
Okay, so there it's painting in the last parts of the image. Notice I can see the reflections in the glass, I can see my lights, and when it's finished I've got the option of adjusting the exposure a little bit to uh, kind of adapt my eyes, as it were, to the light levels. In other words, if I if I want, I could say, let's try that a little bit darker, just because there are areas that are uh, kind of blown out with the white light. You can see the couch and stuff a bit more clearly. And then when I want to, I can say, okay, save that to my project. Give it a name. Close this. And I'm ready to continue with something else. Uh, let me just go to the image that I just created which is, uh, sorry, which was